Alright everyone, Cowboy Trades here, welcome back to the channel. We just got some extremely worrying and extremely bearish economic data that's just come in. In fact, this is the worst recording that we've had in the past five years. What is this economic data that's just come in? How is it going to affect the stock market? How is it going to affect the dollar? And how is this going to affect Bitcoin? Let's talk about all this and more. So. Earlier on the week, if you did watch the channel, I let you know there was a few things happening on Tuesday and of course happening today on Wednesday. Today, we had US corporate profits come in quarter over quarter, but more importantly, US gross domestic product GDP quarter over quarter. How did this come in? Well, this was forecast at 4.1% and it came in at 4.3%. This is not what's interesting. What's interesting is that in the previous quarter, it was at 9%. This means from this 9% reading in the last quarter all the way down to where we're at right now, we have just dropped 4.7%. That is the worst reading that we've had in the past five years. If you look at this chart, you can see this was the second worst reading from 1.6% down to 2.3%. And this is nothing on the 4.7% drop that we've just had in GDP right now. We're going to talk about how the markets are reacting to this in a second. We also had US corporate profits quarter over quarter come in. And yeah, not looking good either. You can see in the previous month, this was clocking in at 6.2%. And now we're all the way down at minus 0.2%, representing a 6.4% drop in US corporate profits. Now, this shouldn't come to any surprise. If you do watch the channel, we talk about these economic data things quite often. We've been talking about, you know, people getting laid off from tons of different companies. You know, all of these exchanges like Coinbase are letting people go. I'm not even referring to Twitter and Elon Musk letting people go. I believe that was for a different reason. I believe the marginal utility of each worker was very, very low, so he just got rid of them. But all of these other big companies, they're losing profit. They're letting people off. And like I said, I mean, you can scrap everything that I've just said, forget the corporate profit. GDP is down 4.7%, the worst in five years. If we come over to the, you know, the max time frame, you can see it's really not often that you see huge, huge drops in GDP like this. So this is some of the worst economic data that we've had this year, maybe in the past five years. Now, in terms of the US job openings, they are still at pretty elevated levels and pair this with the unemployment rate, which is still very elevated levels. It is looking like it wants to move up a little bit. It's not looking good. This basically means that, you know, Powell's job of tightening is not yet complete. And when is Powell next talking, my friends? He's talking today. So the last time we had this type of economic data come in, if you remember, this was round about Jackson Hole. Now, what happened when Powell had this speech after economic data came in at Jackson Hole? We were right here for the TIP ETF. If you remember, if you watch this channel, we look at the TIP ETF, the Treasury Inflationary Protected Securities, because these choreograph the moves for the stock market and the greater markets in general. As you can see down here, this was the lows for the S&P 500, and the TIP ETF broke down, you know, a couple of weeks or so before the S&P 500, which is how on this channel we were able to predict the next leg to the downside for Bitcoin and the stock market. You can also see right now the Treasury inflationary protected securities are forming this bear flag. And when was the last time we were in a bear flag, my friends? Just before Jerome Powell's speech at the end of this bear flag, we had bad economic data came in and, Jer and Jerome Powell came out at Jackson Hole and absolutely dumped the markets all the way down here. So we're in a very, very similar scenario. So, you know, when I say the stock market is about to nuke, I am absolutely not exaggerating whatsoever. Let's see how the markets have reacted since this data came out. Now, the data came out on the latter half about two or three hours ago. So you can see, boom, exactly where this data hit. We had a scam pump to the upside and we had a scam pump to the upside because if we do come over to GDP, it was forecast at 4.1% and it came in at 4.3%. So, you know, for the first 10 seconds, people were like, oh, this is bullish and, you know, obviously not bullish whatsoever. If you are looking at the stock market right now, it looks like we're starting to nuke from these levels, just like we've been predicting. If we do come over to the four hour time frame, uh, you will remember... Of course, if you watch my stock market videos, I know all of you who watch my crypto videos might not necessarily want to watch my stock market videos. That is completely fine. I don't blame you. Um, but when we come over to here, we talked about this. You know, you've got your one, two, three, four, five bearish wave to the downside. You've got your A, B, C back up. And in terms of the candle body closes, we highlighted from here to here, you've got a perfect one, two, three, four, five wave complete in the C wave. So we should be starting a new bearish trend to the downside, just like we predicted. And this is exactly what we're doing. The S&P 500 is going to be nuking, in my opinion, because of this economic data. Now, 
Treasury inflationary protected securities as well. I really think that we're about to start rocketing to the downside. This will pull your S&P 500s down. This will pull your Bitcoins down. And also, like we talked about in the stock market video, what are we doing? We're doing exactly what we said we would be doing. We've broken out of this diamond pattern. We had a throwback, got rejected on the 618, bounce back on support, and boom, we are rocketing to the upside. Uh, like I said, you know, this is just a rough draft of where I think we're going, but still something like this is really where I think we're going. I think we've got from where we are now, even in the immediate short term, obviously higher time frames. I think DXY is going to be pushing up to new highs, but in the next week or so, maybe in the next few days, I see the DXY pushing up to 108.25. This should really start, this, this should really start kicking the DXY back up to the upside. And what else should be kicking up to the upside if the DXY is pushing up? Well, probably the profitability of government bonds. So let's come over so let's come over and see what's been happening. The 10 year is on a rampage. It is up 0.6% since this data came out. If we come over to the two year, the two year is up 1.16% today. So this is outpacing the 10 year. If you do watch the channel and you do watch my educational series, you'll know that this will push the US 10 minus two to the downside because when the two outperforms the 10, it's, it's very simple maths. You've got 10 minus two. You can imagine if the two pushes up and now hypothetically, you know, this pushes up to a valuation of three, then this ratio is gonna move to the downside. It really is as simple as that. If you wanna learn more about the fundamentals of how to trade government bonds, you know, what what the 10 minus two really means from a fundamental perspective, I won't explain it in this video. I, I've explained it over here, understanding market conditions. If you wanna learn more about US 10 minus two, US two, US 10, all of that good stuff, Go check that out. But if you're only interested in technicals, the US 10 minus two pushing to the downside is extremely bearish. Now, let's come over to Bitcoin. Like we said, if we come over to the S&P 500, everything is getting ready to start nuking to the downside. DXY is going up. Profitability of government bonds is going up. If we pull up our Bitcoin chart, it looks like we're struggling to break out of this bull flag right now. We pushed up, had that bearish economic news. And if we come over to the one hour time frame, it really looks like we're going to be starting to roll back down to the downside. Let's come over to our oscillators. Let's see what the stock RSI is doing. Let's see what the money flow index is doing. And let's see what the squeeze momentum indicator is doing. Uh, starting off on the stock RSI, we're at extremely elevated levels right now. We tried to push back up after breaking out of the bear flag, but yeah, not looking good. I mean, the stock RSI is extremely overextended, so it's probably likely that we start rolling back down to the downside very soon. In terms of the money flow index, since we broke out of this bear flag, once again, money in the market is getting extremely overextended. Even if we manage to push up a tiny bit more, maybe back test the previous lows at 17.5k, which I'm not predicting. I like I like I've been saying, I think we're literally getting ready to roll over in the next day. Especially considering we've got Jerome Powell coming out and speaking. Literally the next 24 to 48 hours, I think Bitcoin's gonna get ready to nuke down to the downside. We've been talking about our price targets. I think we're coming right down to 14k. I'm not gonna do too much analysis on Bitcoin today because if you look at my previous videos, I've already done all of that, but we're kind of running up to this mean trend line for the money flow index. So money is getting overextended in the markets. And now that the stock market's finally starting to break to the downside following this five bearish wave count, yeah, everything looks like it's starting to nuke. Treasury inflationary protected securities are getting ready to nuke. If we come over to the squeeze momentum indicator, we are now approaching the heart line of the trend, meaning if we start to flip bearish from here, we have so much room to move to the downside. It is not even funny. So this is all I've got for you for this video, my friends. Like I said, I really just wanted to get this economic data out to you. I know a lot of you who watch my cryptocurrency videos may not be too interested in what the S&P 500 does, what the tip does, what the DXY does. And maybe some of you don't care about corporate profits or GDP at all. I completely understand that. I don't particularly care about them too much either, but what I do care about is the implication that all of this economic data has on Bitcoin. If you are trading Bitcoin, you should be looking at the stock market. You will not be a successful crypto trader if you do not understand the fundamentals of how these markets move. And this is what I try and teach on my channel. We look outside of the normal trend lines, outside of the normal analysis that most channels look at. So if you enjoy this content, as always, my friends, hit that like button, comment, share the videos with your friends. Cowboy out. Not looking good. Peace.